Many might think the European Union is just an intergovernmental organization like the United Nations, but that's not really true, at least not anymore. The EU is an extremely powerful body, and even more powerful is the small coterie that leads it, the European Commission. The European Commission's president is Ursula von der Leyen, a leader who is now increasingly viewed as the face of Europe. Ursula is a new age leader. This is to say she is leading the European Union in a way it hasn't been led before. Now while that makes the United States very happy, within Europe Ursula is making many enemies. And it is perhaps her presidential style of functioning, her top-down approach to governance and her disregard for consultations with partners that has landed the most important EU leader in trouble now. Ursula von der Leyen might just have landed herself in hot soup. Could it be that Ursula's detractors have got the better of her and are pushing an inquiry to make her toe the line? The EU's public prosecutor's office last Friday said it was investigating the EU's purchase of coronavirus vaccines at the height of the pandemic. However, the public prosecutor's office offered no specifics like who it was investigating or what potential crimes it was looking for. It is the absence of details that has made interest peak in the investigation, leading to European chatter suggesting Ursula von der Leyen is under the lens. But what did Ursula do to merit an EU investigation? Well, she's got herself to blame, because in April 2021, von der Leyen told the New York Times that she had traded texts with the Pfizer CEO for a month in the run-up to the EU signing its contract to get hold of 900 million vaccine doses. The European Commission president was accused of bypassing formal channels and negotiating a deal which she had no authority to finalize alone. There is no confirmation yet of whether von der Leyen is indeed the one under investigation. However, this wouldn't be her first run-in with the law if she indeed was being investigated as Germany's defense minister, Ursula von der Leyen was accused of awarding lucrative defense contracts to certain manufacturers. Investigators found data from her phone was wiped out, raising suspicions that she was involved in some shady business. One of Ursula's cabinet members said this about her. She doesn't trust anyone. She lives in a tower. She doesn't build alliances. Sometimes that can lead to mistakes as she doesn't sound people out enough. Stefan Lenn, a senior fellow at Carnage Europe said and I quote, The real power is with the president. Individual commissioners have lost a lot of power. The collegium as such is weaker. The president is stronger. Within the United States, Ursula is viewed as a blessing for Washington's plans to control Europe. A senior EU official quoted by Politico said, There was a sense in Washington that this was someone who could finally get things done, who could deliver. Later, Ursula told a German parliamentary inquiry that lessons had been learned. The problem that many of Ursula's European colleagues have with her is that she is the United States' point man in Europe. As such, she is seen as pushing forward Washington's strategic interests across the bloc while ignoring Europe's issues. To make matters worse, Ursula is seen as an authoritarian leader who follows a top-down approach in operating the European Commission and the larger European Union. That runs contrary to the democratic and liberal ideals which Europe holds so dear to itself. Ursula is also accused of not consulting with her partners and colleagues and doing what she thinks is best for Europe and the United States. Ursula is keen to continue as the European Commission's president until at least 2029. That seems to be scaring many within the EU. Do you think Ursula is in for a tough ride ahead? Let us know in the comments.